The Tsundi village is evolving with new developments and ongoing projects. Here's a snapshot of the progress and challenges. The Shack Dwellers Federation is leading the development efforts, handling sewerage and site management. The Tsundi village council is supporting infrastructure like streets, water and electricity. The council has already planned it. They all just allocated it to them so that they can be able to service it themselves. Normally they start with the sewer, and uh, which will be followed by water. Then thereafter is electricity and uh, roads. Extension 3 has 57 developed and occupied plots. Extension 7 is underway with 314 plots planned and infrastructure work still in progress. Challenges include compensating for traditional homesteads and meeting high housing demand. With about 780 people needing at least 660 plots, there's a significant gap in housing supply. As you can see, there are homesteads, the traditional homesteads which are here. My far right here, and if you look behind these houses, uh, far left there, you can see that there are also homesteads which need to be compensated so that the planning can be able to, to proceed, so that they will, they will establish the uh, structure, houses. Funding is a major issue. The government's budget isn't enough for complete land servicing, so the council is seeking grants and loans from various sources. We are not only depending on the government. What we are busy doing also, we are also putting up concepts with a GEF uh, in terms of environmental factors, like for the project where we came for a treatment plan, whereby we hope to get some grants so that we can be able to complete that project. At the same time, we also approach the Development Bank of Namibia and FNB, the National Bank of Namibia, to see whether we can secure a loan from them so that we can be able to service uh, zoning. Future plans include extensions 5, 10, 11 and 12. Securing funds and investor partnerships will be crucial to advance these projects with the aim of achieving town council status in the long term. Should we have secure the capital, the village can elevate to the town council to the town level, so that we can be able to develop further. Uh, that's the reason why we are inviting also the investors to come in. They sit around and meet us halfway, so that we can be able to provide the service line to our people.